Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodoro Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader and your personal guide to a clearer perspective. I have asked my guides and spirit to bring a message through for Leo today that's going to be inspiring and helpful on your journey this week as you navigate what's going on in your world. Um, I will also be adding a card of advice at the end. This was a suggestion from a viewer from last week, so be sure to stick around to the end and see how that goes. Okay, Leo, this is an enormous week for you. This is really, really quite big. We have the Prince of Wands for the energy uh, of the universe, that <laughs> the energy that the universe sends you. This is a, really an opportunity. This is a chance to explore some new lands, explore some new frontiers to go places to boldly go where no man has gone before, right? Um, I'm not actually a Trekkie, but <laughs> but I know one, so maybe that counts. Anyway, um, this is about really getting a sense of adventure, getting a sense of curiosity, and seeking new kinds of opportunities that are way outside of where you might normally like to sit. Now, Leo, you're kind of like, nah, not going there. Five of Swords is how we react. There's a distrust of these kinds of opportunities, of this kind of thinking. Um, there's just a lot of negative things kind of weighing you down, clouding your sky. We can literally see that happening. This is a clear blue sky full of possibilities. This is a very angry, dark, turmoil kind of inner ugh, going on. So I feel like there's some inner turmoil happening to make you doubt or to make you not believe that you want to go this direction. Maybe it's a lack of self-confidence. Maybe it's also just, you know what? It's just distrust. It's just distrusting. And it could be yourself. It could be in the universe. It could be in the opportunity. Whatever it is, there is a closed-mindedness going on. Not this open-hearted exploration. It's definitely closed-minded. So, um, now, again, I'm not saying that you yourself are closed minded. I'm saying that the mind is closed to wanting to go different places. And when the mind closes, it's because of some kind of either conditioning or trauma. And that's what we're about to look at. So um, let's look at these next three cards. We've got the eight of cups. We've got the ten of swords and we've got the king of wands. And what is fascinating about this? sequence of cards is what happens to the wand in each card. So this person has a walking stick. Here that stick is broken, but then here that stick is regained. So I'll make that a little less cryptic and mystical <laughs> in a second. But, you know, in feeling this distrust, you're kind of, see how the colors of the sky almost kind of flow from one into the other? You're kind of realizing that, you know what, actually this problem is internal. This is, a, this is a thing that I need to explore and I need to really leave behind some difficult emotions. I need to leave behind some of these unresolved feelings. Guilt is coming through, you know, maybe a guilt of not living up to your potential. Um, sadness is also coming through. Maybe not, you know, again, being sad about missed opportunities for, you know, why am I here right now? Why, why did I let this go on so long? But it's understanding that the change that needs to happen, it's realizing that it's a deep core change that needs to happen, deep in the emotions of your being and your psyche. It's not just, I need to change this about my life or change it or make a different schedule. It's, I really need to dig deep and let go of these things. Now, this, like I said, this is a big dramatic week. You're trying to walk up this hill away from all of that emotional turmoil to a better place. And you've got this faith in your eyes, faith in your heart, despite your mind trying to work against you. You get to the top of the hill and you never see it coming, right? All of these 10 swords come and get you in the back. And all of those 10 swords represent everything that has ever held you down. So <laughs> that's a big list, right? Every self-doubt, every person that never believed in you, every time you never believed in yourself, any kind of flaw or any kind of thing that has ever held you back suddenly hits you at the top of this hill. 
and you may feel the most God, this is so hard to tell you. You may feel the most pain that you've ever felt from these. You may feel the most intensified, strongest sense of these flaws that you've ever felt. So if self-doubt is the one for you, you will feel it stronger than ever. When you decide to leave it, you're going to feel it stronger than ever. If, um, oh God, these are, these are tough ones. I'm, I'm really having a hard time. Uh, if self-loathing is the thing for you, you're going to feel that stronger. But what you have to understand is that they're piercing you for the last time. They are so strong because they're at the end of their life cycle. It's like that final burst before they die. And it may seem like you're done and that your staff is broken and you're unprotected and you've got nothing to do. You've got, you've got nowhere to go from there. But then look the new you emerges, the true you emerges, and look how much bigger your staff is. Look how much stronger and more intact your power is. Having gone through this really dark night of the soul here, then you've got your heart and passion aligned, ready to go, the world is open, and the best thing is that you're not seeking it anymore, you're in control of it. This is the, these are related, right? They're both wands, prince of wands, king of wands. The king of wands was once the prince. In fact, this may be, you could even think of this as his son. So it's like he has gone through this evolution or this transformation into coming into his own power, able to really act and follow his heart, to start the things he knows he needs to start, to be the things he knows he needs to be. I'm using the word he, but I could be also talking to she. This is talking about masculine energy, which is that confident, forward thinking, forward acting, moving kind of energy. This is the definite active side of things. And I love how the, the sky is even better in this card. I don't know if you can really see it in this lighting. Um, I'm also an artist. And so when I look at this, I see that this is a tiny bit more yellow in it. So it's a little bit deeper. Um, it's hard to tell with this lighting, so you'll just have to trust me on that. It's deeper and clearer. So his vision and his sense of his heart and his confidence in himself are even stronger. It's like they're reborn. He's come into his full. He's come into his own. And um, that's where you end. When you have the courage to go through all of this stuff and to realize that it's strong because it's ending, and you just let all this stuff fall. I don't know that this is going to happen in one fell swoop for you. I wish it would. But I get the sense that for some of you, this is going to be a little bit of a repeat process throughout the week. So it's kind of like you get done with one and then you have a respite and then you get done with another and then you have a respite. But it's like going through all of them until it's finally clean and then this guy comes out for you. And with him comes the ability to track to attract any opportunity, knowing the right time to spring into action, to grab that opportunity. And um, yeah, <laughs> just really positive stuff on this side of it. But it's, it's a bit of a mess to get there, I have to say. It's a little messy. Now your advice card is interesting. We have Delphinus, the Three of Pentacles. This is a cosmic helper. It is the oddest looking dolphin I have ever seen. <laughs> But this is saying that this is going to be a playful, that at the end of this is, is a playful kind of feeling. And you're like, well, okay, you just told me I was going to go through a dark night of the soul. How can that be playful? This is trying to get you to lighten up and understand that in those dark moments that you're actually creating something that is beautiful as well as awful. <laughs> Do you know it's awful because you're trying to shape that mud, that clay into something much more beautiful. So this is saying to have a lighter sense, even in those dark moments, try to always find that lighter sense somewhere. I also feel like it's talking about uh, an opportunity with money coming in once you're, once you're through all that junk. So a playful opportunity of money comes to you. So Either way, you can't lose, right? And I know that in those dark night of the soul moments, it is really hard to stay playful. So maybe this also, this card is partnership as well. So maybe this is just saying to someone who's very close to you and who you trust, you know, I may be having a hard time this week. If you see me in there, can you just give me some support or can you just gently smile at me or remind me to lighten up or just 
you know, touch me on the back. Just maybe give them a cue for you that you know will help you lighten up and ask for some help there. So if you've got questions about that, please reach out in the comments below or just leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. And um, I want to invite you to check out my website, True Guidance Tarot. I love doing these group readings, but there's something special that happens in individual one-on-one -on -one readings as well. So uh, you're invited to check that out. And I will see you next time on True Guidance Tarot.